the new gen taking center stage. Yeah, the, the Uda, he's had a, a great day of stretching out his coaches a little. <laughs> always going behind and always bringing it back in the last dire seconds of the match. Likes to keep things clutch. It was last year in Jordan that he picked up that under 20 Asian title. Held himself into the senior stage and he's kind of picking up a silver at least here. But it's all about the gold at this point. What have you enjoyed about his uh, campaign so far today, George? Yeah, they've been, well, they've been both amazing on the map. But you're talking about two completely different sides. Udit's a guy who likes to grind, grind his opponent down, likes to. Sometimes he goes behind because of the work that he does put in. He's a bit tenacious. He, he shoots in a lot. Um, not so clean with it, should we say, but always keeps grinding them down, grinding them down. And you've seen that every match he wins right at the end. Last 20 seconds, keeps it clutch. Nice little scramble there. But Yomiya, for example, keeps everything very tidy, very clean. His technique's very sharp. He doesn't attack if he doesn't need to. He, he only waits for the right moment. So it's two completely different styles. You're talking about a guy who's very powerful, very aggressive against a guy who's very fast and very technical. So it's a really cool matchup to see. So for the first time in the gold medal match, the activity clock is Next to Udit, count down to 30 seconds and he'll have to score or concede a point to Yumiya. And if you're all Yumiya right now, you, the best thing to do is just take your time, get the point, keep composed. You don't need to rush anything in this moment. You don't need to make a mistake, try and rush in and score a point. Thirty seconds is over, so Yumiya will get the point. Little ankle attempt shot there from Udit again. Same thing. <laughs> Yumiya will be cautioned now, but with only thirty-two seconds left on the clock, doesn't make any sense to put him on the activity time right now. 50-50 position here. So if you're Yumiya, you try and get your hands locked like he is doing now. And Udit would have to go heavy with this right hand wizard, try and bring his shoulder down to the ground to be able to keep the pressure on Yumiya's shoulder. Good work from Yumiya. He just needs to take his time. He needs to be careful that Udit doesn't try and roll him on the outside like this. Technique that you could see coming just from watching the match, you knew he had his hands high on that chest strap. He had his right leg hooked in. As he rolled, he brings that right leg through just for another anchor just to be able to bring him over. Putting his full display of attacking prowess towards uh, Yumiya in that final exchange before the break. India here in... Uh, Bishkek, they are of course marking their return to competition under the country's name and the flag after United World Wrestling lifted the suspension on the Wrestling Federation of India just last month. So this is a, a return from the cold a little bit for India, yeah. certainly uh, to compete under that, that Indian flag. But it might be able to mark it in the best possible way with the first gold of the entire competition. Good shot attempt there from Udit. Just, you could just see, just missed that leg just by a few centimeters with his hand. If you're Yumiya now, you really need to start up in the pace. Beautiful shot on the ankle. He needs to try and stand up. Great defense. What a scramble from both wrestlers. Counter on a counter. Yumiya needs to be careful here because he has only got his neck with his left hand. 
He will get driven out. But what a scramble we just saw. Yumiya with the attack, Udit with the counter attack to his leg. Yumiya popping out of that one, turning his back towards the mat. Great work there from Yumiya, needs to stay on that foot. Judges have given two points in that position because from the front headlock, he did have that ankle, did manage to bring one of the knees down onto the ground. So Yumiya staying down after that. So we'll have a, a break for some assistance for Yumiya. Certainly been in the wars a little bit today. Yeah. Had a break in his semi-final to stop some bleeding on his lip. What a beautiful exchange this was. Comes out, Udit comes out, he pops out. <laughs> and great work here from Udit. Just knew exactly mat awareness, where the mat is, manages to run him off. Yumiya getting the famous wrestling cold spray. <laughs> Works magic. We're seeing lots of thrills here uh, in 57 kilograms today across the bronze and the gold. But most of the spills have now, come from Yumiya. Very interesting. India challenged the decision. Challenged the decision. Because Udit thought that he pushed Yumiya out, out of the mat and get another point. However, Yumiya was a downed opponent, didn't give the one. It's corner challenged it thinking we could get one point lost the challenge which means another point will go to Yumiya in that position Udit not happy with the decision So what are the U Udit's going back to that George. second to last exchange where he thinks he should have gotten a two points for this and not a one. We'll be Two interested point. to see what they give for you. Red. Blue and dangerous position. Okay. Challenge lost. So the referee made the right choice in the match. Obviously difficult for these referees, especially in something that's so high paced as this. These guys going at each other, fly, fly in every angle of the match. So well done to the referee on that occasion. 4-3-2, Kento Yumiya then. Great the shot there from Udit, trying needs to find his feet, try and stand up in this position, try and work his way out. <laughs> Will get two points for that takedown there, great work from Udit in that exchange. Shot that single leg, managed to pop his head through the outside and stand up. with 90 seconds left to go, 4-4, Uda in the lead, still a lot to play for here. Great work there from Yumiya, from what we saw in the semi-final, almost cartwheeling over his opponent to get out of that leg attack. And another life, he would have been a gymnast. Certainly uh, seeing the athleticism of both these two here, aren't we? Beautiful exchange. Kind of almost did as if he was going to the other side and dropped down to that close ankle. Great defense though from Udit in that position. So George, that two points not awarded, just the one for Udit on yep. that last uh, score.
40 seconds left on the clock. Yamiya needs to start working because Udit will, will just wait in this position. He, will, he knows he's very good defensively. He's going to suck that elbow in there and just keep it, be content, keep it good in that position there, keep him locked in. Yamiya needs to create some space, needs to work for those legs. This is exactly what Udit wants him. He wants to keep him in this close position. Keep him sucked in. Oh, just to drive him out of bounds, and he will for the point. Last second win. <laughs> Yumeya from Japan. Kento Yumeya, the battle of these two young contenders at this weight class. And it's going to go the way at the end, at the very last moment of it. To Kento Yumiya and Japan. And the crowd are loving it here, as you can hear in the background. Did a brilliant job. Udit was just trying to suck him in for that last three seconds, just keep him into that clinch. He just managed to break off, shoot on that leg, and drive him off the map for that point. I believe there was the one second left on the clock. The first Japan. gold medal of the night of. The competition itself goes to Kento Yumiya, the 20-year-old, his first 